Hey yeah, folks, this is Chandran here, and today I'm going to throw my hat into the sharpshooter versus ability score improvement for your early game feat debates. This is going to require a bit of math, but since this isn't your homework, don't worry, I'll be taking care of that part. This video is still going to be a tad on the nerdy side, so fair warning. Okay, so I've seen people talk about this again and again, and almost everyone seems to come out on the side of the ASI, and I just cannot agree. The things you can pull off early on with Sharpshooter or a regular ASI simply makes it too powerful to ignore, if we're talking about which of the two feats is the best choice, at least. So, just a little disclaimer here, yes, if you don't care about optimizing, and you just want to shoot stuff, grab the ASI and enjoy the easy life, it's a good feat. If you want to fire and forget, ASI is probably the correct choice. The rest of this assumes that you do actually want to try and optimize to get the most damage possible out of your spec. Okay, so let's get into it. First, let's take a look at the feats in question. We have the ASI that grants you plus one to hit and plus one to damage, and perhaps plus one to armor class depending on your build, but I'll be ignoring that here. So I'll only be looking at the offensive power. If it's close, perhaps this could be a deciding factor. You do you. Sharpshooter, on the other hand, grants you minus five to hit and plus 10 to damage. And it can importantly be disabled for plus zero, plus zero instead. It also grants you the ability to shoot to higher ground without the minus two penalty, so it negates the low ground penalty. Which is not nothing, but hopefully not something that comes up too often in your gameplay. Before going into any math, let's look at what we should already be able to tell at this point. Since Sharpshooter lowers your chance to hit to up your damage, anything that adds to your chance to hit probably means that Sharpshooter goes up in value. This includes bonuses to hit and enemies with lower armor class, advantage, all that jazz. On the other hand, anything that adds to your damage will make the ASI more valuable in comparison. Low damage weapons should then in theory benefit more from sharpshooter than high damage weapons. The most popular early game ranged weapons are probably Titan String with a high base damage and dual hand crossbows that has low base damage. If the ASI and the sharpshooter feats are close, it would be likely to see that sharpshooter wins out with the dual hand crossbows and the ASI wins out with Titan String. But let's take a look at it. The problem I usually see when people compare the two feats is their initial assumptions, like which build you are using, what items you have equipped, what buffs you have available, all that stuff. These assumptions are obviously going to majorly impact which feat comes out ahead, so by limiting these to only a few choices, you've already severely limited the usefulness of the comparison you're doing. But Chandran, you say? Surely you cannot have a comparison that includes all the relevant builds, items, situations, and so on. And what do I answer then? Wrong! Or at least I would like to answer that. But clearly you would be right, so let me instead say, true, you're right, but we can get a lot closer. Instead of just setting up initial assumptions and rolling with those, let us, okay, let me, make a spreadsheet that includes most of the possible variations and then play around with that a bit to study in which situations each feat would win out. So, I did just that. So, welcome to the nerdy part of the video. The rest of this is mostly just going to be me sitting in front of... Uh, spreadsheet and talking this amateurish one i've created here as you can see i've tried to put in a bit of colors to visualize it a bit here don't mind the colors up here those are for me but those down in these two sheets should help us um, compare different options the first block up here are our different hit chances we can have available i've set it to proficiency 2 dexterity 3 weapon 1 this is just the easiest things that you can get and should always have if you get to level 5 of course this should be up to 3 but for now let's just keep it at level 2 for what the first feat you can get available that's all the other stuff you can get here that adds to your hit chance bless high ground oil of accuracy lightning charges archery this is a fighting style from fighter or ranger the Hacks Hair can up your dexterity, I've included that as a separate option instead. Bliss Balls you could technically have, favorable beginnings, and of course if you are shooting from low ground, it's gonna be better with Sharpshooter than with ASI, so we've included that option as well. For our damage options over here, we have the base weapon, this is 1d6, just average to 3.5. Our dex once again, this is one main hand shot, that's uh, what we are comparing here. And the weapon bonus, once again, a plus one, plus one weapon. This is either Titan String or plus, just a plus one, one-handed crossbow, whatever they're called. At crossbow, there we go. We have the Poison Neck. This is Carcass. This could also just be Dip, but I have set it to, let's see if we can do this correctly, to 3.5 here. Because you should probably be using this if you're going for a, a real shooty build. And then we have the Caustic Band. Easy plus two extra damage. Hacks Hair. Just higher dexterity means more damage. Archery gloves, plus two damage from those. Lightning charges, another damage there. Sport root could be plus 
3.5 from um, from the shield, another D6. And then the last two options are a little separate because we've, we've torn them out across uh, different options here. The Flourish or Gloomstalker. Technically, the Flourish at level 4 should have been 3.5. You can see until level 5 for Bard's Flourish. I don't really count that in this. We can just change the number here to, to um, take care of that if we want to do that. But I don't think we're going to be doing that too much. Titan String is plus 5. 4 from Strength. And then 1 from because it's better base damage. It's D8 instead. Then we have the numbers up here for Sharpshooter and uh, the ASI respectively. And these are just numbers that the computer uses. The spreadsheet uses. We have some more numbers down here they use. It doesn't matter too much. And some more down here for our hit chances. The relevant stuff is what we have going for us up here. So these are the, the bars I actually use to compare them with. They are a little messy. The first part of it here are respectively the ASI for Titan String. That's your combo there. This is Sharpshooter with Titan String. And then this is Sharpshooter, but you've turned it off. Down here we have the Flourish options. If you're using your Gloomstalker attack, I just wanted that as a separate option to see this might be your usual choice, but then if you wanted to do the Flourish, you might want to change Sharpshooter off, or maybe the ESI is just better for that attack or something like that. And then we have the same down here, but for our dual hand crossbows. This is obviously still only the one main hand shot. We don't want to be, be comparing the two options, Titan String versus um, dual hand crossbows. That's not what we're doing here. So I just wanted to to see if we are using dual hand crossbows, which one is going to be better, and if we're using Titan String, which one is going to be better of the Sharpshooter and ASI. And then we have all the same stuff down here, but with advantage. The color coding goes as follows. If the line is yellow, it means that it's it's higher than the other option. So ASI compared to a Sharpshooter here, you can see that's only going to be one of them. That's better. It does not take into account how much better it is. So keep that in mind as well. And then we have the pink one here. This is when you are in a situation where you actually should turn Sharpshooter off. At this point, I've included absolutely nothing. So we don't have high ground. We, we don't even have uh, archery fighting style. We don't have any equipment on. So let's start equ uh, equipping some of that stuff. Start with the poison neck. This is uh, going to be an easy one to, to acquire. Oh, you have to kill Kaga, but it's a thing. The archery gloves, we could put on those as well. So if we start by just adding a lot of the passive stuff here, caustic band, let's even take that. And you're probably not a sport route, but could, you could be, and you could get that as well. Let's let's uh, leave that off for now. We have uh, these simple options. We could go hacks hair. That's quite simple to get as well. And then let's let's not include any of these options over here. So if you look at it now, it should be quite quite clear. You've added a lot of damage bonuses without getting any more hit chance, which should make ASI the clean f uh, clear favorite in almost all situations. And as you can see, that's also the case for Titan String. ASI is now the best in all situations, and it's quite quite much the best once we get up here up high. For crossbows, on the other hand, ASI is still best in almost all situations. But once we get very low armor class, armor class L11 here. Uh, sharpshooter technically wins out. This is also just a situation that's not very um, realistic. You probably wouldn't get into this situation. So let's try and start adding in some of the, um, the, the various bonuses that you can get if you build your character right or if you uh, get the right technical positions. So let's start by archery. Just getting archery here already moves um, the bar a little bit. Not that much as you can see. But the crossbow, we are up to armor class 13 now. You should have high ground in almost all situations in combat or not almost all but a lot of them so if we try and adding that on here it's also working a lot in sharpshooters favorite you can see your crossbows now we're up to armor class 15 where they're better and what's also relevant is that you can see the the difference in actual damage also matters at this point up here we have two points in actual difference uh, of damage it's uh it's a bit higher up here with um with our uh, titan strength as you can see because the the dip in in accuracy means more for that because it has, has higher base damage but on the other end of the spectrum you can see sharpshooter actually deals a good deal more damage than the uh, asi 4 here compared to 2. if we add in more stuff let's say that we have bless bless is very easy to acquire from the whispering promise ring now we are already in the position where sharpshooter wins out all the way up to 17 for our crossbows and to 15 for our titan string and the rest of this is going to be a lot more situational. Maybe you don't have the Caustic Band. We could start removing the options over here. Maybe you do have Lightning Charges. Those could be easy enough to acquire. Now we get all the way up to actually ASI only wins out at 19 and above. Them being uh, entirely equal-ish at, um, at 18 for crossbows. 
we could say that you have favorable beginnings on like half of your shots. This is all of your shots, of course, when I include this. But let's take a look at it now. And now sharpshooter is just uh, in insanely better than the other option. We could even remove the lightning charges again and see that this still hosts for most of it. So favorable beginnings, because it adds to hit chance as well, is going to mean once again sharpshooter gets better. These are all things that you should be able to get quite early on. And if you include low ground as well, let's say uh, we can't have high ground and low ground at the same time. So let's not do that. But you can see in this situation still, sharpshooters are clearly better, of course. That that would make sense. That's it. That's uh, it doesn't add anything to sharpshooter, but it attracts two from um, the ASI and doesn't uh, hinder the sharpshooter in, in the least. If we go for sport druid as well, we up our damage a bit here. We could uh, add back in the lightning charges. Now we have every single damage option that we can find, and we can even start looking at maybe using the flourish attacks. We still have bless. Let's say we have high ground. Uh, remove favorable beginnings just to get something relevant um, to compare here. I'm still using a build that has archery because I would suggest you have this on most uh, sharpshooter builds. It's it's quite easy to include. Um, be playing ranger, be playing fighter. Of course, you won't be able to get sharpshooter until level five uh, if you are taking this as a dip from level one fighter. So in that case, you should up your proficiency bonus as well. But that's only going to help sharpshooter's case. So let's remove that from now because I'm going to end up concluding that you should probably be using sharpshooter a lot of the time. So Spoiler. Good. Let's take a look back at this, okay? Um, every single damage option we have Let's look at the flourishes as well. Flourish is like if you're doing the Gloomstalker attack or if you're flourishing with a Bard. It's technically calculated as if the Bard is level 5, but that's only helping the ASI. So let's compare it here. You can see Titan string and using Flourish is the best case situation for ASI. And even at that point, ASI only wins out once you get to enemies that have 16 or higher armor class, which is not a lot of them. And as you can see, the damage different. It's not that high at this point, but it's quite big down at the lower ones. Even uh, even in a situation like this. And then you add in like favorable beginning. Now we're all the way up to 17. And the difference at the top is very low compared to the difference at the bottom. So without getting too much further into this, this has all been without advantage. Now let's let's try and make the situation a little worse for sharpshooter. Let's remove high ground. Let's even remove archery, right? That seems seems to be a thing that could, uh, in theory, happen. I'm, I'm keeping Bless because it's very easy to get Bless from Whispering Promise Ring. And then let's go down and look at Advantage here. So with Advantage, we need to get all the way up to Armor Class 18. Uh, actually, apparently in both situations, for ASI to actually win out in the comparison. And once again, the damage difference from the bottom to the the top here is, is quite insane if you add in just archery let's see that's quite a simple thing to get high ground as well and i can even remove bless for those of you who don't care and advantage is basically just winning and add in bless once again and at this point it's very very clear that in any shot that you have advantage the sharpshooter will simply be the better option so all of this silly math uh, going back and forth is mostly to conclude that if you don't um if you don't mind doing the extra work to get these buffs like bless or high ground or lightning charges even with the uh, these relatively simply uh, accessible ones and let's remove sports rate as well here just take a level four ranger you can see here as long as you have advantage you're winning out and even without advantage you're basically winning out with um with sharpshooter in most cases and then do remember you do have the option as well to turn it off and one thing is that this can change, so there are certain situations where the average damage is better. But what's like a lot more relevant is the fact that you have two modes to switch between. Because in certain situations, one mode is going to be better than the other. I'm not talking about average damage, I'm just talking about, let's say we have a mob that only has four hit points left. It doesn't really matter how much damage you deal to it, but it does matter what your chance is to hit. So in this case, you obviously turn off your your uh, sharpshooter and then it doesn't matter whether we're all the way down here in armor class it's just the fact that you can get to like 95 percent chance to kill it even without the asi is quite strong 
So you can switch between these modes. Let's say on the other hand, you have a very low armor class uh, individual with a lot of health, and you really want to kill it this turn. You can switch on your sharpshooter, and you can have a lot better chance to actually get it down, even like average. But if you disclude the averages, there are situations where it's more important for you to try and get them up down, let's say 55% chance of killing them up versus 95% chance of it uh, not dying anyways because you don't deal enough damage in one shot with ASI to kill it can be a good gamble to take in a lot of situations. Obviously, if you miss, it's going to be bad because you won't have dealt any damage to it. But it doesn't really matter that much compared to being absolutely certain that you won't kill it because your damage just cannot get high enough to do so. So keep these options in mind as well. And all in all, I would suggest if you don't mind doing a little bit of math, doing a little bit of work to get the bonuses, give Sharpshooter a chance. It's uh, it's really, really, really good, even at level 4. Good. So to cap things off, just let me mention a few other things to take into consideration. First off, there are abilities that lower the armor class of the enemy, which once again works in favor of Sharpshooter. You could shoot them with the Illithid Power Ability Drain active. You could throw acid on them or use acid arrows as well. These effects are quite nice to, to give you that little extra chance to hit. And then of course, I didn't talk about this too much earlier, but there are a lot of ways early on to get advantage actually. Fairy Fire is a strong first little spell. You can blind them with Raven Familiars, you can in entangle them with uh, druid spells you can knock them down and web them there's a, a lot of ways to to get this even just starting from from stealth is a quite strong ability as well or using that in combat as well can be good for certain classes like the gloomstalker and obviously rogues and such that should be about it thank you for joining if you have been I've been Chandran, and you've most definitely been awesome if you've been sitting through this. So, uh, thank you, and bye-bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to do the YouTube stuff. That's important.